Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. What I got here is a game.com. Select few games I have for the little handheld I own. A lot of people don't realize or even know what the hell this console or this little handheld is. It's developed by Tiger. It was the game.com. These two games I have for it have been sitting in the little handheld for years. And sadly, I cannot get the handheld to work. It's a shame, though, because I really like the console. This is what it looks like. So people go, oh, well, if you're not going to play with it, can I have it? Well, that's the problem, Chico. It doesn't work. It's that, as far as I can tell. It was really just a GPA with a control pad. I really liked it, though, you know. It was a really nice handheld, but it doesn't work now. Try as I might, try as I will, it just was not having it anymore. Basically, it's gone, I think. So, I've been trying to open the bad boy up to look inside of it, but the screws aren't having it today. The side ones are really caked up inside the sides of the panel because I was going to pop this bad boy open just to make a video of me critiquing inside of it, looking inside. But this device is not having it today. Yeah, it's totally not having it. <laughs> so, as far as I'm concerned, the darn thing is dead. As far as I can tell. Also, in the back here, the battery. Here, probably... It has some life in it. I stuck my tongue on it to test it. And that's one of the idea, one of the formal ideas to test out a battery. Is stick your tongue on on it, even though people go, "Don't do that. It's stupid. That's a foolish idea." It isn't gonna kill you. But you know, I really wanted to take this open and look inside of it and see what the hell's wrong with it. But. That ain't gonna happen because the th thing ain't having it today. But, just wanted to show you the device. You know, I tried, I tried putting batteries in it, uh, put in some other f ways of connecting it, but it just isn't liking that idea. Yeah. I mean, I could cut, I could mod it and put a different LCD screen on it and just turn it into a handheld for a Nintendo or a Sega Master System handheld. Oh, wait a minute, that's the Game Gear. Ha ha ha. But, yeah. The games that came with it was a very interesting handheld device. Again, like a GPA. Had two cartridge slots. It was the. Uh, went in like that. 
went in like that. That's how it went in. Then it played just like that. Duke Nukem 3D did not look like Duke Nukem 3D. It was really a slide shooter than anything else. It wasn't really a shooter per se. But again, the game is the handheld is pretty useless right now. Might take it apart and keep the buttons for something in the future. Not sure what, but could be useful for something at least. It's like you no know, sound no more, there's nothing. Just totally shit the bed. Well, if I could ever get this open in the future, I'll let you guys peek inside this little beast. As for now, it's going to be on hiatus. Well, take it easy, guys, and I'll post up more videos as I um, get to them. Take care.